internet friend, it's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I'm here online again, and I've got my friend Ron Santo. Did I pronounce it right? Yes, Ron Santo, or you call me Santo. Santo, for short. Yeah. Not Ron, yeah. no. No, no. No, Santo. <laughs> we can do that. Okay, so I don't do these very long. These just tend to get to know who you are and what you do and what you have to offer, and then I propagate them out to the universe, and people find them, and they say, that guy's kind of interesting. What has he got going down? Yeah, I I'm hope I'm interesting enough. You will be. I'll make you interesting. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> so first off, is you married, got kids? You're, are you single, wild, and crazy? What's up with Ron Santo? Um, I'm single, but I do have um, a daughter. She's two years old, and her name's Harper. Harper? Yeah. What a, that's a cool female name. I don't yeah. think I've ever heard that before. Yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you live down in like the Dallas area, right? That... Yeah, I live in Dallas, Texas. I'm up in the Frisco area of Dallas, but it's all Dallas to me, you know. I've got a friend there, uh, Michelle and Bill Pesco Salito live in Frisco. Okay. <laughs> Maybe Frisco. I need to link up with them. Sure, why not? Yeah, so, I'm originally from St. Louis. I've been here about uh, close to three and a half years now, but I'm originally from St. Louis, Missouri. What made you leave St. Louis, Missouri? Uh, have you watched the news? Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> just a, you know, just a number of different things. Um, okay. I feel like Dallas had a lot of better opportunities, you know. So, but I okay. still love home. I, you know, I, yep. I talk stuff. But I still love home. You know? Yeah, I'm from Minneapolis, and I've been here all my life, lived in the same house for 53 years, got married, moved to the west side, and we decided to move to Asheville, North Carolina, and mm -hmm. just had to come back home. So now I'm back in Minneapolis. I like it here. Yeah. It's cold, but yeah, it gets I'm a, better. I'm a Colts fan sometimes. You what? I'm a Colts fan sometimes. What does that mean? The Colts. Who's the Colts? The Indianapolis Colts, the football team. Oh, I didn't say Indianapolis. I said Minneapolis, the Vikings. Oh, you're Minneapolis. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not a Vikings fan. Sorry. Well, I'm not a football fan at all. My brother's got a bumper sticker that says, Go Twins and take the Vikings with you. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, I'm more of a UFC fighter fan, and I don't fight, but okay. I used, used to, but I don't do that no more. That's crazy. Right. But I'd rather watch them. I get it from the outside of the ring, you know? <laughs> yeah. So what do you do? I know that you're entrepreneurial. I'm entrepreneurial. I got my fingers in lots of stuff. What, what is it is you have to go? What's going on? Same here. I'm what they call a serial entrepreneur. I, um, <laughs> I started my journey with uh, my clothing line, Favoring Fair Clothing. Um, I went on into my janitorial company, um, Prill Against Cleaning. And I'm currently I'm working on an app called The Network, which will connect entrepreneurs in a vast majority of ways. Um, it's a very unique app. It, and it's basically me kind of, um, I came up with this just, you know, like I said, I've only been in Dallas for a couple of years and it's been kind of hard to network with a lot of people. So I feel like the app is gonna uh, be a benefit to a number of different people by connecting them in a numerous way. Okay, I have a question for the app. Does the app connect people locally? Um, it, it won't just be locally. No, but it, but does it does it does it kind of primarily focus on local? Yeah, it will it would um, focus locally. That's where you kind of want to start. You know, yeah. I have a uh, philosophy that you know you always kind of want to network across. You know, with the people who are kind of in the same place with you. Yep. And then you guys, you know, move up. And um, yeah, so definitely connecting locally. Like I if like you're it. a photographer, you need models, you need like events to go to, so you need all these other people to connect with to help you know right. flourish your career yeah i think that the, the internet has made it so we can reach everybody but it's made it really hard to get it to develop a real relationship because the person's right. over in singapore and you can't have coffee you know right exactly so yeah, that's very cool want to get that, that that close relationship built. yeah i think it develops organically you know it starts as a seed and it sprouts out and grows and that's how your circle grows very cool that because i've always thought that meetup should be more effective but it's not so it's very cool right. that you're developing this app. you just want to party off of it yeah exactly you get you got to do it's more of a b2b play right right got it so what else you got going on other than the app um like I said, with my clothing line, I'm kind of slowly developing and, that. And you're it, wearing it. it. Yeah, yeah. Favorite for our clothing. Um, it, it's more of a uh, casual, laid back, 
it's it's not really um it's a, it's an active active lifestyle i have a lot of gym clothes okay. you know your tank, your tank tops your shorts um you know those type of things it's you know kind of the dad hats and the the snapbacks and those type of things so uh the clothing line is pretty fun now my janitorial company you know that makes most of the money that's, okay that's, be honest about that um that's been growing um over the last year and a half so it, it's been a fun journey with me i've actually only jumped out the windows what i like to say you know taking that leap being an entrepreneur not click you know clocking in at nine to five it's been about two and a half years so it's been a fun journey up and down you know it's nerve-wracking you make sure you get those bills paid every every yeah. month and uh you know so it's definitely um it's a journey you know and I, and I always try to keep that mindset that it's a journey it's a marathon not a sprint that's right but uh so far so good and uh i love it i, lo- I love being able to stay on my, be on my own time and everything like that you know what really cool is if you blended your app in with your clothing wear so you got that iconic brand so once you see people walking down the street locally they go hey you're part of the club right yeah something <laughs> like that yeah I, I definitely believe it's gonna it's gonna be explosive in the sense that um it'll give people so many opportunities to to seamlessly connect with those people that they need to grow their own brand or their own products or whatever, whatever it is that they do. Yeah. I'm, I'm amazed that somebody hasn't come up with something like that. So I think you might be onto something and if you can kind of give, be first I, and catch the wave. I, I hope so for about two and a half or about a year and a half. And I'm in the last stage, which is the coding phase. And so I started to go fund me and it's called it's let's create and um or you can type in like let's create something together into the GoFundMe so everyone could check that out as well. Okay. You want to be a part of the app. Yeah, no, I'll want to get your contact information so people can just just kind of connect with you, but who knows, maybe Ty Lopez will see it and want to be it. Yeah, I love that guy. I love that guy. <laughs> you he, can invest in your that, app. Yeah, he's the one that uh, got me to start doing a, a huge book collection. So, <laughs> okay. You did it. You got the virus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, he's like every third video it's pretty interesting you see the the how people go from like this rags to riches kind of thing. It's not that. I mean, he's been through the trenches. He didn't just all of a sudden have what he had, and everybody starts, yeah, it's a fake car and all that. You you yeah. you gotta you gotta grind. Like you definitely gotta get out there. Like I said, you gotta make those connections. You gotta you know take those calls. You gotta make those calls. You gotta send those emails, and you gotta have something viable, yeah. quality that the people want. That's why it's so important to have something that you enjoy, because then you got that you got more persistence. You can keep going at it. But when you keep getting beat right. down, you say, I can, I can go get a job. I hate this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you gotta have something that's gonna get you up out of the bed every day. You know. Know, um, proving people wrong that'll that'll fizz out uh, money that'll fizz out you know what I mean yeah it's got to be something you know within you that you enjoy every day so it's not work yeah my thing is freedom I need to be free I need to be mobile gotta have a phone gotta be mobile right. I, I can't uh, can't be stuck in the nine to five job thing I don't like being you know I gotta punch clock and stuff I can't do that yeah, just inside a building for too long is just kind of it, it gets smaller as the day goes. Well, on. even like uh, you know the the thing with your app, you're building it as an online thing, so it'll start generating revenue while you're sleeping or while you're doing what you want to do, walking down the beach with your girl and all that kind of stuff. People that work up under me in my business, I should say, and um, you know, so I do make money when I sleep per se. Yeah, because you're smart but, enough uh, to to have be working on on your job instead of in your job. Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. But that, I mean, that that's kind of we kind of have the same why, you know. The freedom, freedom was my number one. You know, the freedom to kind of go as I please, um, you know, and just my time, you know, whatever I want to do with my time. Yep. And definitely, like you said, being mobile, I love to make deals on my phone and you know be in the gym at the same time. Exactly. That's just, like that that success to me, you know, just being able to go and come as I please. And uh, really like, it was at some point last year when I was in the gym and I was on the phone and I was like making a deal. And then I, I hung up the phone and I was like, man, I'm really doing this, you know, so. Yeah, yeah it, it, it cool. is. It's, it's a, like, I was just in Costa Rica. I got a, it's my Costa Rica book, Costa Rica. I'm working on building an event center down there, and I was in Costa Rica, and uh, I also do some stuff on Amazon where I sell CDs and stuff. Mm-hmm. I was in Amazon, and all of a sudden I got I sold a CD, 
And I thought, I can't fulfill it because I'm in Costa Rica. Right. So it re made me rethink my stuff that I'm doing, that I don't want to be out having fun and then be concerned about fulfilling my Amazon well, stuff. So right. I decided to, to put you that get on the machine. I get that machine behind it. Yeah, I don't want to do the Amazon stuff anymore. It's too much competition <laughs> and stuff. So I'm doing live events and right. getting people to go down to Costa Rica where they got a – that's more of a, a draw. Yeah. Yeah, I like to, uh, you know, get get the word out, help inspire other people myself. So I do a little bit of mentoring and stuff like that. Well, that's how we do this with the Synergy Cafe. So I'm going to beam this one off pretty soon before I ask my favorite question. But I just uh, put this on and put it up to the universe. And then if you could share it also, a rising tide lifts all boats. And that's kind of how it works. Definitely. I love that saying too. I'm, I'm definitely going to put that in my journal. So here's sure. another one is the, the big why. Why are you doing this as opposed to like, why don't you like be a yoga instructor, or open up a 24 hour fitness or why ain't you like you have an ice cream truck or something? Why are you doing an app and clothing line? Um, well, you know, for one, just being an entrepreneur was something that always, you know, um, made sense to me, you know, with my freedom and my time. Um, the clothing line, it, it, it basically started it just, you know, giving other people money just for their namesakes and whatnot. But then, you know, I've always kind of been fashionable. I've been into fashion my entire life. And, you know, I felt like I can create and design myself. And it, it, it was something that was just a passion to me. Mm -hmm. And that's where the clothing line came from. And I love connecting with people. And helping people so that's where the app came from and through all my issues with being an entrepreneur you know trying to get to know all these different people to you know kind of you know help me get to the place where I want to be it's it's basically how I came up with the app and again just wanting to help people that's kind of been like one of my main things just helping other people you know there's a lot of stuff that's out there that to help people that you don't get direct access to in school. No right. one just comes up to you and talk about it. And, you know, you kind of have to have that time to actually go out there and, and find it. So if I can, you know, find it and do the research and, you know, give it out to people and then they're going to, you know, go on their self and start, you know, doing those type of things. And that's yep. the kind of person that I want to be. Well, that's uh, what I get from most people when I ask the big why question is they want to help other people. And I, I kind of detect that you're, you want to help people and maybe break free from that nine to five job thing and exactly. the entrepreneurship. You say you're a serial, I'm a serial entrepreneur too, because I like yeah. Fruit Loops and Corn Flakes and... <laughs> <laughs> right, Captain Crunch. Yeah. <laughs> No, but the whole entrepreneurship thing, there's a whole big wave, and it's, it's, it's not as hard as people think it is, and I think they make it more complicated, which makes it more complicated, but it's just about right. finding something that you want to sell, like whether it be a clothing line or an app, and just being passionate about it and letting people know about it, and you just got to have right. a, a way for them to pay, done deal. It's right. all about yeah, the relationship. I, you know, I like to, I like, to um, like I said, I like to help people in a number of ways. I've had to you know, put my wall down and like open up, you know, so I, I finally got a YouTube channel. Um, everybody can find me on my different platforms. Cool. You know, let's get, that, uh, let's get connected on good old Facebook and we can do some Facebook lives about all this stuff too. Cause okay. that's, you, you do Facebook lives. Um, I haven't done start doing the lives yet. I do, um, the Instagram videos. I do well, a here's lot of what's, Snapchat. Here's what's cool about doing the YouTube. Here's what's cool about doing the live is, is I get on live and then I invite you on and we talk just like we are now, but your audience gets to see me and my audience gets to see you. So you got right. that synergy thing of one plus one equals 11 and the rising tide lifts all boats kind of deal. Right. Yeah. Definitely. So let's hook up on that. Other than that, I'm going to beam this one up, put it in a can, and put it out to the universe. And then when you see it, if you could share it too, I'll connect with you on some social media platforms. Ron Santo, appreciate you taking the time to be on Synergy Cafe. Yes, and follow me on Instagram at Santo World, um, YouTube now at Santo World, Twitter at Santo World. And thank you. I appreciate That's cool. Being Santo here, World, right? Santo World. Santo, yep, S A N T O W R L D. I love Santo the branding. World. I love the branding. It's cool. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you, bud. You. Peace. Appreciate it.